finding the perfect pumpkin. I guess these both do have good stems on them. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. I kind of like this one. I think I'm gonna get this one. I think it's it. Oh. Hey, hello. Today, ew, you get to see the shitty side of the pumpkin this whole entire video. Oh, and my battery's about to die. Do you have another one? Yeah. Right as we start filming. Cool. New batteries in. It's also dead. Just gonna have to keep switching them. Hello. Happy spooky season. Happy Cocktober. <laughs> no. Oops. We are in the middle of a forest right now in Minnesota and we got some pumpkins and we're going to carve them. We're at my grandparents' house. This is my grandpa's hat and jacket and sweatshirt. Honestly, like trendy though. Like a thrift Honest, store, yeah. this would be like a hundred dollar outfit. For sure. My stem fall off. I'm super sad about it. Guys, I am heartbroken. We got to Hunter's grandparents' house, and on the way home, my fucking stem broke. Now it's ugly. It's because I'm a bad driver. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, the whole carving pumpkins thing, it's fun, yeah. Do I think it's very time consuming? Yes, it takes me like hours. Uh, but it's still fun, I'm I'm excited. I don't think I carved a pumpkin last Halloween. I don't um, think I've carved a real pumpkin since like seventh grade. Really? Yeah. No, I do them every year. Mm. We either paint them or carve them. Painting like, would have been easier. For sure. <laughs> it's but, also 34 degrees out right now. And we also have dollar store carving supplies. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but I can see it. So it's winter here, which it, is ironic because if I have really in California, nice. it's 103, and here it's 34. Literally in Minnesota, it's been like the perfect fall vibes. They're they're out there. This is a different video, but if you watch the Minnesota vlog, it's fall all, vibes are there. It's all leaves. It's all well, that's literally because that's the only is. thing here. Just trees. It's like what? We gotta start by like cutting the top open. Do you have to make like a circle? Yeah. I have a pen. The thing is though, you can't cut outwards when you make your circle. You Did have you to hear that? No. I think there's something in the yard. Do you want to carve pumpkins with us? So this pen isn't working. We live like. Like the woods, like there's wolves and bears and stuff. Oh, there here. we go. I just had to shake it up. And the award winner, Zendaya. Oh my god. How did you get it in there? Oh, okay. First job has been made. Oh my god. We should make pumpkin pie with this. Is this how this happens? With the seeds? Oh, is it seeds? I, I think people use the seeds to like do something. Ah! Honestly, kind of like stress relieving. Ding, ding, ding. I have a gut bucket. Ugh. The worst part is just scraping out all the disgusting guts inside of the pumpkin. Okay, there we go. We got some thick pumpkins. Look at this. Oh God. I'm terrified of this. Ew. So they ask people to ask us questions. Yeah. I'm asking you guys to ask us questions as we carve. I'm actually not that cold. Guys. Daniel see if you done is her pink. <clears throat> oh, maybe not anymore. I'm cold. We're on the Canadian border right now. Like we're not in like the city slicker Minnesota. We're up to like on the top. We're up north. And it's cold here. Ask a question while we call it from. Well, the first question is just quite simple. It just says, how's life treating you? Well, <laughs> um, I quit my job. No, you did not. <laughs> kind of. I'm off for six weeks because I simply couldn't with people anymore because everyone is annoying. So I quit. Now it's great because we're pretty much in Canada and carving pumpkins and yeah. it's freezing. Honestly, right now I'm vibing. Life is treating me well. We um, haven't even like started this month either. And we're doing so many things this month. Yeah, literally. But how is it October 4th already? It was just October 1st. Well, I wonder if I just like scrape it. That did not work how I wanted it to. Ugh. I just want to get all of this out, but I don't want to get my arm full of pumpkin. Should we roast the pumpkin seeds later? Honestly, yeah. Favorite scary movie? Hocus Pocus. We just watched Hocus Pocus in theaters and it was just like such a fun, different experience. I don't know my favorite horror movie. I know the first horror movie I watched though was Amityville Horror in 2005 with Ryan Reynolds. Um, I remember being like absolutely terrified. Scream, I love Scream. Yes. I really like the scary movies too. Like I know that's not really horror, but like- Yeah, those are funny. Someone said, how's the weather, IDK? <laughs> 
It's freezing. It's 34 degrees. It's probably gonna snow. But I actually like the cold. Like I prefer the cold over the hot. But only I when prefer I'm just like like today it was like 65. That was nice. Like perfect. It's all just the perfect clothing like some weather. Like moi cropped hoodies with matching sweatpants. Yeah. Like, like the perfect, perfect weather. You know. Someone said favorite two. Honestly, my two middle teeth. Oh really? I, I would say are my favorite. I hate those. Did you not have a gap in between those? Oh, I had a huge gap. Yeah. So that's why I hate mine because I had a gap. So like I blame them for it. Everyone called me SpongeBob. Well, one because I was obsessed with SpongeBob and like I was like my personality but i literally look like a human version of spongebob um what was the question on oh, my favorite tooth <laughs> i really like like the upper incisors the or your canine what? teeth the incisors yeah your upper incisor i don't know what that word means someone said so you launched a clothing line are there any other big things you have coming yes i'm gonna yeah. officially quit my job because his clothing line's expanding on black friday so the day after thanksgiving get your wallet <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, please. I want to quit my job and work full time on his brand. <laughs> we need you. I like emails. Somebody email me that's not yelling at me. Someone said pumpkin spice, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Except pumpkin chai, actually. Like a regular pumpkin spice latte. I honestly didn't like it that much. I'm anti chai. See, I'm, I'm it's too pro, spicy I'm for me. I'm pro chai. <laughs> chai is too spicy for me. Vampire or werewolf? Werewolves. I feel like it depends. I love Teen Wolf. Like, Dylan O'Brien, I haven't you seen. At? I haven't seen Vampire Diaries, Teen Wolf. <laughs> None of that shit. Bianca is pissed again. Our friend Bianca is just like She's so just cool. fuming. She loves like Halloween stuff and she loves those kind of like movies and TV shows. Oh, can I just stop? Like, does it actually matter? Someone said, what's in store for Tyrelloween? A lot, actually. I mean, I guess this is a part of Tyrelloween, but like for actual Tyrelloween, we have some very cool special guests like Abby Lee Miller. That's all I'm going to tell you though. Abby Lee Miller is a special guest. <laughs> Wait. It's a special guest who? But I, I can't tell him that. I think I'm done gutting. I don't know what I'm gonna carve in this. I do. I think I'm gonna... Why am I too tall? I hate my life. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I might just do like a like a pumpkin face. Do it. Like be classic with it. Honestly, just do it. Where's your pen? Someone said, what's your favorite part about fall? Fall is like the beginning of the best part of the year. September through December, and then January comes and it kind of just starts to become awful again. And then you just look forward to August, September, October, and yeah. And pumpkin comes back at Starbucks. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I care about. Actually, no, I used to love the pumpkin cream cheese spread at Dunkin', but then they like stopped doing it. Wait, if you guys have a Dunkin' Donuts near you, can you comment below if they have the pumpkin cream cheese at your location and like, just tell me the state. I'm gonna fly to it and get it. But besides that, I think I like fall because like I can start wearing like sweaters. Like I hate summer. I hate the heat and I hate shorts and t-shirts. I just love my crew necks. This summer was like particularly, I think I just have never wanted it to be fall more in a summertime than this summer. The battery's about to die again. Shut the fuck up. Weirdest middle school obsession. I didn't go to middle school. What did you go to? I just don't remember it, so I didn't do it. <laughs> Like, wait, what's middle school to you? Like, what grades? Technically, my school doesn't have middle school. They just have elementary first through sixth, junior high seventh through ninth, even though ninth grade is still technically counted. You're a freshman, but you still go to the junior high, and then it's 10th through 12. Because, like, my middle school was third through sixth. Really? Yeah. Seventh through 12th with this in high school. Seventh through 12th just sounds like a lot. Yeah. In high my school. My graduating class only had 100 people, though, so. I also grew up here in the middle of nowhere. Wait, what's our middle school obsession? I don't remember mine. I was really this big into being a safety patrol. Like a crossing guard. Yeah. Do you guys have those? I was a safety patrol captain and I went to safety patrol camp like the state sent us because we won <laughs> school safety patrol ward of the year or something. But we all thought we were so cool. Yeah. Um, oh, what was your favorite part about creating your own clothing line? This M is way too big. My favorite part? Probably just like designing it and like making the visuals for those designs. Cause like that's like what I do. So the creative aspects. For sure. Piggybacking on that, are you thinking of new ideas for moi? Could moi ever have a collab? I am thinking about new items for moi all the time. And yeah, there could totally be some collabs. I am writing this moi way too fucking big. Someone wants to know, how many times have you bleached your hair this year? <sighs> and is your hair still alive? That's what I want to know. My hair is still in fact alive. Alicia, who you guys have seen before on my channel, who like does my hair, she herself said that it is not dead. But it looks dead because because of my texture of my hair because it's curly slash wavy. Like when it dries, it just likes to frizz up. 
But back to the like main question. I have bleached my hair this year in 2020 three times. The first time it was all of it, obviously, and then it's like just the roots after yeah. that. Two root touch-ups and then one full. This one was actually kind of a good question. It comes from at Excuse Me Love. She has a Powerpuff Girl in her profile picture. Oh. And she says, what's your favorite window shape? Window shape? I feel like it totally depends on like the house or building we're looking at. You know, we have our circles, we have our squares, we have our rectangles, we have our triangles. See, like I like circles that have wood inside of them. Like, wood cross in them. How you draw your little houses with the circle windows on the top. Ugh. First injection. I can barely see the light. Why did I write this M so big? Last year we did this with styrofoam pumpkins and it was honestly the worst decision I've ever made. Oh, the sounds. Someone said, would you rather give up coconut Red Bull or iced coffee? I mean, I don't drink iced coffee, but ice, let's say iced chai. That's a hard one because some days of the week I'm feeling a uh, nice cold sizzling coconut Red Bull. Those like have acid in it. So they like give my body like kind of like a sizzle that I just need sometimes. Yep. But the chai, it doesn't really give me that sizzle, but it gives me like a Oh, like this is just amazing. So I think I would rather <laughs> not give up either of them. Okay, if I could split it up between half of the year, I would do coconut Red Bull for spring and summer and then Thai for fall and winter. I don't drink either. Favorite season of American Horror Story. Now this, I could just go on and on about American Horror Story seasons. I feel like um, this is gonna trigger a lot of people. The best season, plot-wise and character-wise, Sarah Paulson said this herself, is Asylum. You just can't, like, Asylum is just the best season, but my favorite season, I think. Mine's Coven. Mine's Coven, yeah. Coven's the most iconic season. Favorite season, Coven. Best season, Asylum. Ooh, Hocus Pocus or The Haunted Mansion. Oh, Hocus Pocus. I didn't like The Haunted Mansion movie at all. Like, I think it's one of the worst movies ever Made. I've never seen it. The ride. I was just great. thinking of the music and the ride. I'm like, oh, I love that ride. Favorite book. I saw that one and I ignored it because I don't think I have one. If Bella Throne was homeless, would you offer her your bed and the clothes on your back? It depends on what clothes were on my back. If like I like was wearing like, like would a, you give her the mom merch? If she posted on her Instagram story. <laughs> These pumpkins are thick. Also, I understand now why you need to gut them. I'm running into like some issues. I'm almost done with the M. Hope Williams wants to know if you can do her math homework because she's I missing actually 73. Can't. Sorry. Yes, he can. He literally can do multiplication so quickly. Well, I'm good at math, but I'm not gonna do it for you. What was one thing you had planned for this year that Corona ruined? I love the way you just said that. Why? What would you say? Ruined. Ruined? Sauna? Yeah, we had that a few days. He says sauna instead of sauna, but everyone here has said that as well. So it's like- is it sauna? No, it's sauna. How do you say trauma? Trauma? Trauma. It's both AU. Oh yeah? You guys want to go take a sauna down by the lake? You know, we'll take the boat out for a ride they're later, all, okay? They all have Canadian accents here because they're so close to the border. The border's just right up there. Sometimes we bring the hot dishes over to the Canadian Mounties, you know. He you actually know. visits Sean Mendez every weekend. You betcha I do. You know, he's just to get to Sean. He lives in Toronto. So you got to go way down there. Way down there, I tell you. Linda? Linda? Will you get some hot dish? He's gonna go to see Sean. My grandma Linda will make you hot dish. It's real good. I'm done. What? I finished. I got the M. Anyways, what was one thing that Corona was gonna ruin for you? Um, Coachella was the main one. I was gonna go to Coachella in April and then I was gonna go in October, but then that was canceled. It actually be in like five days. We were all gonna go to Paris for Lindsay's birthday. That was canceled. You know, big things like that. Mwah. The M is cut out. Is that as far as you are? Yeah. <laughs> This is exhausting. I should have written this so much smaller. Here we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Tyrell just got demonetized. <laughs> Guys, I haven't done carving for so long. I just want to show you my pumpkin. He's literally just cutting out block letters. <sighs> I'm carving the A now. I'm halfway there. We're halfway there. We're looking good now. And nothing's gonna get in the way. Wait, how am I gonna do this A when there's a little spooky. hole inside of the A? Oh, that's so good. Yo, that looks so spooky. <laughs> Let's see if there's more questions. We've been doing this for over an hour now. Is your pumpkin carving gonna be Chanel Oberlin approved? I know mine, mine is, is not. No, because yours looks like Grace's when she- <laughs> Chanel would be like, that's the most basic thing I've ever seen besides your face, ew. Chanel would be like, oh my God, mwah, I love. And then she'd approve it. Chanel approves. Aren't you Chanel though? Yeah, so I guess it's kind of conflicting, isn't it? Fave candy to get as a kid when you went trick or treating. Twix. Twix is the best chocolate bar. We are not the same. What is yours? You. Kit Kat. Oh, well, that's yeah. Those are my two favorites. I don't like Twix though. How? Like, like literally how? There's too much like, crunch in a Twix. That's a, that's good. Like Kit Kat's like the right amount of crunch. It's literally all cookie. Kit Kat? Yes. No, Kit Kats are like all chocolate. It's literally no. It's not. It's literally cookie inside of a thin layer of like that. 
that's why Kourtney Kardashian eats the tiny bit Let of Let me layer, guess, you're probably like the right Twix cookie. person. You like right or left Twix? Left. <laughs> Guys, I won a thousand dollars at the casino. I lost 40. It's legal. I just don't understand. Everything he does takes so long. I think I've been done for like 25 minutes at least. Not 25. We are on the last letter, you guys. Pumpkin carving takes a long time if you want your pumpkin to look exquisite and fantastic. Mine does. How's your back? It's actually hurting. Oh God, I'm so tired. It's nine o'clock. Marquia wants to know, were you the employee and were you gonna get employee of the month? You would do it too for a check. What's your middle name? Actually, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, next products from Moi. Coming next month. If you could be any type of soup, which would you be and why? Just a nice classic tomato soup with some basil in it. I don't know, the chicken wild rice soup that we had tonight was really good. Also, any dumpling, chicken dumpling soup. Or like some homemade chicken noodle soup with like some homemade noodles. Does your back still hurt from your juicy honker? It does, it hurts every day. Life is a struggle. Is this video gonna come out in three months? No. Nope, because it's Tyler Barlow Wee, and then there's new videos every day. Not every day. And the H is out. Oh, fine. Oh, this is really bad. You can like see the gutty shit. All right, it's time for the big reveal. Are you ready for the pumpkin reveal? Let's pretend that my stem is happily on there. All right, here we go. Oh, I was ready for a countdown, but. <laughs> Let me shut this light off. <gasps> what? Oh. Could you imagine it rolls off? Mwah. Spooky. Wow, that's our lovely pumpkins. Comment below who you think is better. Fine. Hope you enjoyed carving pumpkins with us. Maybe you carved a pumpkin as we carved ours. Probably not. <coughs> well, maybe you this should. This video, it's probably like the week before Christmas right now. <laughs> They're probably like, dude, it's no, December 22nd. It's not. That is all, we hope you have a very, a very happy holiday. If it's before October 12th, it's not go be shop. Before October 12th. Oh, well, I was gonna say go shop the presale at <laughs> ma.shop. But if it's after October 12th, just go shop www.ma.shop. You missed the presale, but go shop anyway. <laughs>